Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Um, we are going to hit on post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and two areas in particular that I think affect more people than we realize. Um, and the first we're going to hit on is that this is not just um, something that is limited to those who've um, fought in combat. PTSD, and I especially think uh, amongst our young people is undiagnosed. You look at the prevalence um, among young women in particular, one out of five statistics show have um, been subjected to rape. That's not including uh, childhood sexual abuse, um, you know, and other forms of trauma that can be undiagnosed. And so what I'm saying with this is um, some of the, the symptoms and the red flags that, that kind of pop up with PTSD and whether that's, that manifests itself immediately or over time, it, you know, withdrawing yourself, being angry, on edge, um, having flashbacks that could kind of equate to having trouble sleeping, um, and a number of other um, symptoms that if your gut is telling you something's up, and I'm not necessarily saying this is this it, signs you'll deliver that, that they're suffering from PTSD, but as a parent, a guardian, a loved one, ask questions. Um, and this is where it's so important to pursue help and letting them know there's nothing wrong with you, but if you've gone through a psychological uh, trauma, we gotta get help and we gotta rock and roll. And that kind of bridges us to number two, which is the domino effect. Um, when it comes to PTSD or any time, type of uh, mental health issue, this is not something that is limited solely to the individual who's suffering. Um, a family uh, consists of, is, is a puzzle with a whole lot of different pieces, every person, is the piece and when someone's affected by something such as PTSD every piece is affected of the puzzle so with that when it comes to post-traumatic stress disorder it's seeking help for everybody it's learning how to, to communicate it's learning how to listen it's being able to learn how to empathize and what is that individual to some degree you getting it being able to empathize and what are they struggling with because this affects the entire family dynamic, whether that's the spouse, whether that's the siblings, whether that's the parents. Um, it, it has a ripple effect that can really be gutting. Um, and PTSD really can be both physically and emotionally paralyzing on so many different levels. And it does not have to be something that that is paralyzing uh, on, on, on a long-term rest of your life scale. Okay, I'm not saying that that might not be the case, but it doesn't have to be because with, with help, support, both on a clinical and family level, um, there is progress that can be made. But every individual handles things differently. And, and so what I'm going to kind of throw out to you is, um, you know, keeping your ears open, keeping your eyes sensitive to what might be going on with people around you. Um, and, and maybe there is nobody in your life that suffers from PTSD. Um, but there are so many people who've been touched by it and affected, um, you know, just over the past few days, uh, just, you know, different things I've wrote or I've written via blog or on Instagram, the response from people um, of who have been affected or have known someone that's been affected is kind of um, overwhelming. There's so many people and it's something we need to talk about and knowing as a parent or a loved one or a guardian or somebody who m might know someone who's suffering from this, it it's something that can be uncomfortable, but you can't be uncomfortable because when we're uncomfortable, that makes that individual who's suffering uncomfortable and that deters help and that deters progress and that deters the feeling of um, being accepted and being loved unconditionally and that's what this is all about. So I encourage if you have any questions, kick me an email, Aaron at Goodness Chick. Com. Um, but think about what we talked about, and I wish you a great week. Peace, love, and goodness.